नमो नारायण स्वामी जी नमो नारायण स्वामी जी थैंक यू सो मच फॉर गिविंग मी द टाइम आई वांटेड टू क्लेरिफाई वन थिंग यू हैड मेंशन द अदर डे अबाउट मेटाबॉलिक डिसऑर्डर्स सो आई वाज इन श्योर व्हाट रियली आर दीस स्वामी जी आई मीन आई ओनली नो ऑफ वन इशू रिलेटेड विद मेटाबॉलिज्म व्हिच इज बीइंग ओवरवेट सो आई डोंट नो कि और क्या है तो मैंने सोचा आपसे एक बार क्लेरिफाई कर लूं actually you know uh, what is nowadays spoken as metabolic disorders is actually what is technically called as the metabolic syndrome and this is actually a collection of risk factors which collectively or individually lead to diseases imbalances like heart disease stroke diabetes and along with this hypertension lipid disorders uh, and over being overweight or obese so these three four five this stuff come together and this is what is known as the metabolic syndrome and generally when uh, in today's times when it is being spoken it is these uh, different manifestations of a similar problem which are collectively called as the metabolic syndrome or sometimes uh, casually they are also called as metabolic disorders no i didn't know that all of these were part of metabolism issues metabolic related issues so agar swami ji somebody has any one of these hmm. like because some of these would be hereditary also so can they be prevented um you see for this we need to understand this a little bit better like you pointed out that it appears that uh, cholesterol high cholesterol hypertension diabetes obesity uh heart problems they are all totally different and unrelated entities but actually they all stem from a very similar uh, base there is a disturbance in the normal metabolic systems in the body metabolism is made of two parts anabolism and catabolism so when we take in food those nutrients are broken down in the digestive system and they are absorbed in the body and they uh, there is a generation of nutritive blocks which are needed for the body at the same time there is another cycle which breaks down these blocks so that energy is generated and activities can be carried out the balance between these two is essential and the whole gamut is known as metabolism now when there is a disturbance in some of the systems the metabolic pathways start going haywire and uh, then there is a effort by the body to do a compensation beyond a certain level that compensation comes into the uh, manifestation as a disease for in a simple manner if you look at it if you are standing and if you raise your right leg to your side you can no longer keep standing straight automatically the upper torso moves to the opposite side to the left side to maintain the balance in the same manner as a compensatory mechanism due to the various risk factors which come as inadequate sleep poor quality of sleep inappropriate dietary habits erratic dietary habits lack of exercise and many more uh, continual stress so such lifestyle factors dietary factors exercise factors come together have an impact on our body and over a period of time the body tries to compensate by going to the other side and when it cannot compensate within the normal range then that is seen as a disease so this is true for all these disorders so be it heart disease be it diabetes be it obesity be it uh, uh, heart problems or uh, also uh, stroke all of these come under this uh, umbrella of metabolic syndrome where the metabolism is disturbed and once 
metabolism is disturbed, then there is a problem. So we have to find ways and means by which we can nip it in the bud. It is impossible to say that we cannot face the modern lifestyles. The modern lifestyle is fraught with these problems and individually we cannot run away from it. But we have to find ways and means how we can balance it, how we can adjust it so that the internal balancing mechanism of the body is maintained and the optimal systems are made. So this can be done through various practices, various uh, methodologies. And whichever way, it has to be in a scientific manner. The end result is that the body metabolisms come in sync. The neurohormone autonomic systems, they come back in sync and they balance the whole body, optimize the function. Doing so, we can get back to health. So, if we follow these practices, then certainly we will be able to prevent these disorders from cropping up in our life. Right. So, Swamiji, like you said, that basically it's when the metabolism is a little imbalanced that any one of these disorders could occur. So, uh, and you said that a scientific methodology and regular practice has to be used. So with that, can these be cured, Swamiji? Like if we were to do a regular practice of yoga in the right way, then would this, can these be cured? You have to understand the word cure in a proper context in this uh, it's, it's, uh, uh, pattern. I am very hungry. So food is going to cure me of my hunger. But if you feel that uh, this is going to cure my hunger forever, then no. What food do? It provides into the body essential nutrients which have depleted and thereby maintaining the body balance, which is also known as, in technical terms, the homeostasis. So when that happens, then the body is able to function, which means that you need to keep eating food at proper duration. In the same manner, we need to keep undertaking these corrective measures. So if you call that as a cure, then you can say, yes, it can cure. But what I would personally like to say is that through various practices, we can manage and these problems better, we can prevent them, and we can uh, help the quality of life. And if maintaining all the things correctly, many times it has been seen that there is also a reversal, especially in the early cases, like in diabetic, like in hypertensive, when you are in a very early stage, there can also be a reversal. But I would not go up, uh, and say this is a cure for it. It is more a proper management which has to happen. Right. Swamiji, I think we need more detailed information on this. Are you planning to do any workshop or anything on this soon? Sorry, can you speak a little bit louder? I'm going to hear you. So sure. I'm saying, Swamiji, this is very interesting, but I think we need some more detailed information, especially on how to manage it. Like you said, it can be managed and we can have a better quality of life. So I wanted to know, are you planning to do any workshop on this soon? Yes. Uh, in fact, I am planning to do that because uh, yoga along with as a component, complementing modern science, modern medicine has been found to be very effective in managing these risk factors. And uh, yogic practices, there are multiple tools which are available and an appropriate judicious use of these tools makes a lot of difference in our life and goes a long way in reducing the incidence of these diseases and helping us manage this better. And towards this end, I do plan to have a four-week uh, workshop online 
where we will discuss these points, understand them better, and also learn various practices by which we can manage these disorders in a simple manner and maintain or improve the quality of life. In a nutshell, I would like to say that perhaps due to the discordant notes, the music has come down into a cacophonic noise. Yoga will allow tweaking of these discordant notes so that we bring it back into a melodious soul stirring music which heals, uplifts and enriches our life. Great Swamiji, so when are you starting this? Are you going to do it soon? Um, this is going to be twice a week and uh, it will be starting on 12th of September. So from 12th September, twice a week for four weeks. Will oh. be and it's online you said Swamiji? It is online. Okay. Great Swamiji, so I'm definitely going to join this one for sure. And thank you so much for giving me the time Swamiji and I will share this with my friends as well. Uh, and uh, see you soon in the workshop then. Let's hope that it helps us manage these problems in a better manner. Because a little bit of understanding, a little bit of knowledge and a lot of practice together can make a lot of things. Yes, absolutely, Swamiji. That uh, it helps you all. Thank you. Namana Ryan Swamiji. <laughs>